All right, going green doesn't have to be the pits unless you're doing it literally. Frisk is a natural deodorant from right here in the capital that's not just good for you but also the environment. Joining us now to chat about more about his business is Shayan Yazdan Yazdani. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thanks and for having me on. Well, thank you thank for being you. here. What a fabulous new product uh, and it's relatively new, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah. So we started developing about two years ago but only actually launched in the beginning of May. So it is quite new to the market and that's why we're so excited to be here and let people know about what we have in store. Why did you want to uh, create a, a deodorant that's all natural? So I grew up n knowing from what my dad said that the deodorants were bad for you and antiperspirants had bad things, but I didn't know much about it. And as I grew up, I kept on researching and I researched Alzheimer's and the links with aluminum. And I also researched uh, parabens and how they act as endocrine disruptors, which messes with your body's hormonal balance. So really, I grew up knowing it was bad for you, but I also grew up thinking natural deodorants suck. So then when I started actually trying natural deodorants, I realized it's true, they're not very good. And that's when we realized, let's try making one. And my cousin came to me saying, you know what, I think you make a great one, let's make it like a little project. So over about a year and a half, there was no pressure because we didn't want to start a business. Yeah. We were just playing around with it every weekend, trying to make a better product, trying new ingredients. And finally got to the point where all our friends and family loved it and we're like, let's try and sell this. And here you are now, here and you've named are. the company Frisk? Frisk, yeah, Frisk actually means fresh in Danish. So we think you should always smell frisk, smell fresh. Uh, and does it work for both men and women? Yes, we use different kinds of scents to make sure the smell is very gender neutral. Okay, so it's this great one for we men, have. Men, women, children. It's uh, very. Oh wow, that smells really yeah, nice. Thank you. Yeah. And this is what's in this one? So this one so it has a bit of coconut oil, uh, shea butter, wax, magnesium, arrowroot powder, activated charcoal is one of our key ingredients. And that's a very trendy ingredient it right is, now in a yeah, lot of products, it's isn't so it? It's so absorbing. One gram of activated charcoal has a surface area of about 5,400 square feet. So it's super, super fine. So it allows to absorb lots of toxins and moisture. So that's what makes it so absorbing. And what does it do? Does it stop you from sweating and make you smell better? So or? we don't stop you from sweating. That's what the aluminum does. And that's part of what's not natural about antiperspirants. Yeah. Your body creates a sweat. So when you clog the pores, you're holding everything in and your body can't function the way it should. So we allow you to sweat. You don't sweat very much once you've detoxed. But uh, you do sweat a little bit, but you won't stink. That's the whole point of this, is you should sweat a little bit, but never smell. Now, you said that a lot of the natural deodorants on the market, when you were looking, you didn't like them. They didn't work, they didn't smell good. What, they, so what makes yours so different? So they had, so basically, we looked at every single natural deodorant out there. We looked at what people liked about them and what they didn't through okay. reading comments, reviews. And we started to see patterns. So one pattern, for example, is baking soda. Uh, a lot of people get rashes from it. Oh, interesting. So we made sure we didn't use baking soda. Another example was when the first ingredient was arrowroot powder, which is right here. Uh, people said it was too hard and it was hard to apply, so we made our first ingredient coconut oil. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit softer, it's easy to absorb, and it gives it a softer feel. So it's really kind of just listening to what people were saying about what's out there. And again, I think because we were in a business, we had no pressure to meet a deadline. Yeah. So we just took our time with it for about a year and a half, almost two years, and then uh, just slowly testing one variable at a time, testing one ingredient in every batch, trying to make it right. Yeah. We got to where we are today. And where can people get your product? So we're currently online. We're in a couple locations in Ottawa, like Pure Yoga, Pure Yoga we're selling there. But we are in an online business, and we do have a subscription base as well. So we kind of see Frisk becoming a company where the whole family has their deodorant come in once every month or two months, depending on how active you are. Yeah. And it's no longer something you have to go to the grocery store, find the deodorant you want, smell a bunch. You know what you're getting. It comes yeah. in every week. The whole family can use it. And so we're really trying to go straight to the consumers with this. What a bright idea, Shion. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Annette.